For a 12-lead ECG, you will need hand sanitizer, ECG machine, lead with the cables attached, electrodes, gauze, skin prep if required, and a towel to maintain privacy. With your electrodes, ensure that you have 10 per sheet. Perform hand hygiene. Explain the test to the patient and have them lay as flat as tolerated to obtain the best tracing possible. Expose only the required areas of their body, drying any skin if wet or diaphoretic. Then place the four limb leads, avoiding any bony prominences. Then place the six chest leads. This is done by landmarking. First, feel for the sternal notch, identifying the palpable bump beneath it. This is the second intercostal space. Next, continue palpating down to the fourth intercostal space and place the V1 electrode to the patient's right of the sternum. The V2 electrode is placed at the fourth intercostal space to the left of the sternum. Place the V4 electrode at the left fifth intercostal space, mid-clavicular line. V3 is located equal distance between V2 and V4. Place V6 electrode in the fifth intercostal space, mid-auxiliary line. V5 is located equal distance between V4 and V6. Attach the leads to the corresponding electrodes. Each lead should be labeled with the required electrode, V1 to V1, V2 to V2, and continue until all leads are attached. Next, cover the chest to maintain patient privacy. Check the ECG settings, then enter the patient demographics in the required fields such as name, date of birth, and healthcare number. Once entered, instruct the patient to lay as still as possible. Capture the ECG by pushing record or auto start. Disconnect the leads, remove the electrodes, and position the patient to a comfortable position.